Okay, welcome back to my channel, Outspoken Wheels on Wheels. I'm Joan, and this is sort of the third um, video that's been taken just at my time just south of Maricopa in Arizona. I spent several days there. Um, the video two weeks ago was on me trying to find the campsite there, how to, how to choose where I was going to stay. Last week, it was me getting sick, and this week, I'm still there. Um, I've been there for a few days already, and I'm starting to feel better, so this video is mostly about um, my first real full meal after being sick and what happens. Enjoy. Oh, the first day that I really feel like eating since I've been sick and I was cooking on my little cook stove. It's more spacious there than it looks. Nothing was going to catch on fire, but it spilled and the whole pot, like a whole can of ravioli, went right down where all my gas canisters are and well, that's no fun. And this little curtain that I've never really used. You've seen it in one video. I'm not even gonna tackle that. It's going in the garbage. Doesn't matter, you have to pick up all these individually. Looking forward to this all morning. My stomach was even dreaming about ravioli. Ugh. Wreck my fan. Oh, that is so nasty down there. Ugh. I don't know if you can see how gross that is. And I'm still starving, by the way. This is the thing that I'm finding about van life is that nothing is ever simple. And I'm trying to make it simple, but I never seem to get there. I uh, might solve one thing. I don't think that's going to be big enough, but... This little bowl I bought at Walmart. I think it was like 50 cents. Okay, here we go. Okay. Another part done. Towel. Oh, the lid was on. Oh, so good. At least I don't have to throw away that bottle. So glad the lid was on that. I, I don't know if I would have felt good about using this propane bottle with ravioli stuff right where you connect it to the stove. Okay, another piece of the puzzle done. Sort of. Oh, let's travel the world, she said. Let's do it in a minivan. It's cheaper. You don't need that much space. Well. Honestly, for the last, because I was sick, I don't know, three nights ago, And because I didn't get, you know, like I wasn't as sick as I was the one night, but I wasn't better afterwards, you know, just feeling kind of yuck. So I was feeling kind of down and 
I was rethinking van life altogether. It's like, what am I doing this for? Am I, is the novelty finally worn off? And then I woke up today and I was feeling a lot better. And I'm glad because this probably would have made me burst into tears yesterday. But I'm managing and I still want to do van life because I've been having a great morning. I've been getting stuff done. Had some great time with God this morning. And I expect to do more. Well, I'm in my little favorite, current favorite spot. I had two cans of ravioli. So that ravioli I was dreaming about, I can still have one. Later, I just ate some. This is really good cheese, by the way. So I've made a decision just this minute. So obviously that means it's up for debate later, later when I calm down or not really calm down. I'm calm, but van life for me in this van isn't going to work. I love van life. I am having so much fun. But when I got sick the other night, um, I should be better by now, but I'm not able to be healthy because I can't get at my fridge. Um, if it was raining today, I wouldn't been able to get at my fridge at all because I wouldn't want to put my wheelchair out in the rain. Um, I, I just cannot figure out a good solution to showering. Although tomorrow I'm going to try my doggy bath if it's warm enough. But everything is weather dependent in this van. Everything. I can't, um, I can't get at my fridge. I can't, uh, cook very well. Um, like my two burner stove has to be outside. It's just, there's no room for it in here. And the little accident that I had with my single burner stove, just, you know, that could have been worse. Um, if I would have knocked over the actual stove too although I don't think that would knock over because it's got a pretty solid base on it but the the ravioli came right off the top of the stove and went right down beside my fridge and well if I've already showed that video well you saw what happened but so cooking is a problem so I can't eat properly and um, getting out and getting around my van is a problem I can solve that if I can get my freewheel on but I don't know. It just seems like everything. I've been optimistic. How long have I been doing this in this van? Over over a year. Almost two years now. And I have not been able to work out solutions for all the things that I need to work out solutions for. So. So. Unless some miraculous brainstorm hits me and I figure out all these things all of a sudden. And believe me, like I know you cannot, you can offer uh, suggestions in the comments, but I really do doubt that anybody's going to offer anything new that I haven't already thought about because I have been thinking and thinking and thinking in depth about all of this for more than the two years that I've been in and out of this van. Um, it just, it's not, it's not, it's not possible, I don't think. I haven't been able to shower since I've been sick. Um, that is not helping me get well either. Uh, toothbrush situation, not great. I'm doing, I'm brushing my teeth, but um, Minivan Lee, I don't know if any of you follow her, but I was using her solution with the little, um, little spit cup. But that gets stinky and the toothbrush gets stinky and I know I'm there's easier ways probably but you're also talking to a lazy person here and I don't I like to find things to be as easy as they are at home and maybe some of those things obviously can't be 
Anyways, that's my little rant for now because I'm I'm still tired from being sick, I think, and I'm just, you know, I was feeling really good this morning and then I knocked over that pot into the, into the hole where my fridge was and what a mess. And, you know, like, how do you clean stuff up without running water? I, I did it and it's fine, but yeah. Can you tell I'm a little frustrated? Probably more frustrated than I've been since... I started in my van. There's lots of changes that I've made that have been really good. I do have to say these, I don't know if you can see them because it's so dark. My folding storage boxes, I really like. They don't look like they hold much, but they do. And uh, I think I'm going to put an extra one in here. I found out a friend is selling a sprinter van. Um, it's a friend who's in a wheelchair. So there's a lift. It's $77,000 and I can't get it in my garage at home because it's too big. And with the lift, like my garage at home is a single car garage. There's no way I could get off the lift once I did, if I did get it parked in the garage. So I just, I don't know what the answers are. I'm in flux right now still really enjoying my travels i just wish i felt better and i know i would feel better if i had the capability to make proper meals in here that's a big thing and that's probably why i got sick too is because i'm just not um actually that's probably not why i got sick this time because i've been eating great uh my friends in mexico were cooking for me and then we were going out to mexican restaurants all the time oh, i love the food down there um, anyways, hopefully I wake up in a better mood tomorrow and maybe after I've had a shower, I'll feel a lot better. Um, and I'll probably head to Yuma because that's the other thing is because I still don't have a solar panel, so I can't charge my battery. So my one Jackery is almost completely dead and the other one is half dead. I could probably stay here another day and keep my fridge going. I'm not I'm not uh, running my fridge only during the day and then I turn it off at night because one, it heats up the van too much and two, it just uses up too much battery power. So, um, okay, I'm really done my rant now. I will talk to you next time. Just thought I'd update you on my little rant that I had last night about this fan not working for me and needing a new one. I'm feeling a lot better about it today. I still feel like ideally it would be really great to have a bigger van, but this is what I have. This is the only thing that fits into my garage at home. And I can only get into my house by driving into my house because of the steep driveway. I can't wheel up and down it. So I have to have a vehicle that fits in the garage and if it requires a lift, the lift also has to, um, when I'm using it, be able to work within the garage confines. So, um, yeah, this is my van. I'm feeling better about it today. I'm just updating on that. I'm not feeling like I have to get rid of this van, which I'm kind of relieved about because I like it. I like it a lot. Um, so that's where I'm at right now with that. Well, that was a little bit of an abrupt end, so I decided I should just add a little bit to that. Uh, I've been home from Arizona for, I think, almost three weeks now. Um, I just had a lot of content, <laughs> so which is good because there's not much happening at home here that I can tell you about before I get back into my van. Just waiting for it to warm up so that I can get back in my van. It, I probably have... One or two more weeks left of content that I can post and then hopefully I'll be back in my van traveling again uh, with more exciting videos <laughs> to show you. Next week I will be showing you about the doggy bath that I mentioned in a previous video that I bought so that I could try and have a shower. So I tried that and you will get to find out how that worked out. Have a great week and I will see you next week.